We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right? Whoa! I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing this time. Bricks. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, a world tree piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all rest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise. Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans, and we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right, sir. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, 
There'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist, this Elysium, and the Creator, who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. If it isn't Rex, how's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too? No one, I'm afraid. Figures. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before, I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Reg's good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Coroner Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's cos Gramps doesn't charge rent, eh hey? All right, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. Hello, Rex. Papunin, been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, uh, no, how say, 
Yes, Pippi. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Leftherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? You should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. The Chairman? For me? Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banner, Chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. Me hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dincy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. 100,000? Friend here right? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. 200,000 gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this? Of course. I'll be fine. Eh, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want a small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex! Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> a child salvager. Jen, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly hundred grand. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Dromark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Gramp showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. Ma, ma, ma! Friend 
friends are such rowdy bunch. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. What are you, 12? Wait, maybe you are 12. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's our problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha. What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. That's the black ship from the harbour. Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You? I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Mia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate her. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager, then. Where's that? Swim like a fish and drink like one too. That's the salvage's code. Pfft, sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvages do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <laughs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree. I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed, though, there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out, day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid, Elysium, don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's uh, why you're a salvager. It's just a lie for children. And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that. 
Isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you... Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Gramps of yours sounds all right. Oh. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. We're in position. All personnel report to stations. Salvage team, suit up and proceed to hatch. Your target is located inside a shipwreck 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our tests, so we'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull first. Next, you'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying you low lives a lot, so don't screw it up! You smug so-and-so. And submerge. Is that it? It looks pretty ancient. Is that the propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? That's massive. The appearance matches our reports, but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed to second phase. Excellent work. You're not half bad, you know that. I do this for a living, remember? All teams, proceed. Inside when ready. Right then, let's get moving. You with us. Me? You're gonna drag the kid along. Seriously? 
Guess he thinks he need all the help you can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, don't just stand there. You've got your orders, haven't you? Amazing! So that's how drivers and blades fight? So ruthless! It's like they're monsters themselves! Nice! I'm sure glad these drivers are on our side. You too, Dromark. No need to get hysterical. It was a walk in the park. Yeah, but still. That's enough yapping, you pair of brats! Let's move! Kuh. Talk about self-important. Gramps always taught me to respect my elders. Elders. <laughs> <laughs> They make short work of Monster. These no ordinary fighters. Big job in Moradain going well, too. There's much money to be made from these people. <laughs> Not planning on letting us past, huh? Sounds like a challenge. Jin, check this out. There it is. Adam's Crest. Adam's Crest? What does that mean? You. Open this door. Me? This door will only open to one of you people. One of me? What are you talking about? Hurry up and do it! We're not paying you to ask dumb questions. What the hell? You can't treat hired hands like that. Now, how do we open this thing? Hey! So that was a release toggle. Just as I thought. Wait. There. Open that door too. Let's move. What... what is that thing? It's a... girl.
No mistaking it. That's the Aegis. The... Aegis? Hey! Brat! Don't even think about touching that! Huh? <laughs> At least you won't be alive to see what's coming. Uh, what a waste of time. Jin! Why did you kill him? Why? What did Rex ever do to you? Jin! Let's ship out the Aegis. Nia, call the Monoceros. Excuse me. It's such a mournful sound. Huh? It hasn't stopped. Not. Not in all these years. Hasn't stopped? You mean that bell sound? Is the Praetorium somewhere nearby? Uh. Where are we? This is... Elysium. The land where long ago, mankind lived in harmony with their creator. It's where... we were born. Get out! R really Is that a core crystal? You're a... blade? My name is Pyra. What? Oh, right. M mine is... I know you. You're Rex, right? How did you know my name? Just now, when we came into contact. Just now? Sorry. I can't seem to remember how I got here. You were... killed. Stabbed through the heart by Jin. Jin? Through the... I remember now. That bastard stabbed me! Oh man! This is bad! Everyone in the guild is in danger! No, wait. I can't do anything if I'm dead. Titan's fucked. If I wasn't dead, I'd kick that guy's ass. Rex, I have a request. Can you take me to Elysium? Elysium? But isn't that here? This world is merely a memory. An ancient, half-forgotten memory of what once was. The real Elysium lies in your world. Atop the World Tree, 
that rises from the heart of all rest. Memory? So it's like an illusion. But there's no way. I'm dead, remember? How can I help if I'm not breathing? I will give you half of my life force. That way, you can be revived. As my driver. As the driver of the Aegis. The driver? Of the Aegis? What... what the... What will you do, Rex? Is this place really your home? It is. And it really exists. Rex, I know what you're thinking, and you are correct. By coming to this place, you can save the world. Save it from the slow demise that is its fate. We wouldn't have to live in fear. Then there's only one choice. I'm in. Let's go to Elysium. I'll take you there myself. Thank you, Rex. Now place your hand on my chest. What? Are you sure? Nia, and them. And? Like what? The price for their lives has already been paid in full. Now that we have finally obtained the Aegis, the fewer living souls know about it, the better. I, I can't do that. These people haven't done anything wrong. I don't understand you. Now, now. Have you forgotten why you came here to begin with, Nia? No, but... Oh, for the love of... Fine, I'll handle it myself. What the... Sword can't be! It's kind of low to stab a man in the back. You bloody psychopath! Pyra! Here! Cover me! Got it! Jin, leave him to me. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, kid. I can't let the likes of you just claim her power for yourself. This is as far as it goes. Yeah! Aegis, over here! Just leave it out! Give it a rest, Malos! Can't you see his 
just a child. A child? Don't make me laugh. This kid has ah. made himself the Aegis' driver! <sighs> the Aegis' driver? Rex is... Uh. Yeah! You are done! Thanks, Pyra. You're welcome. Now, don't let up! Yeah! Go, no, quick! Yeah. Malo, here! I don't think so. Hey, you can pull over here! Nobody like you. Ah, but with those eyes, I guess I should have been more wary from the start. What do you mean? Like I tell you. You're good, kid. It's no simple feat to control the Aegis like that. However... Rex! Don't get cocky, you little shit! Zubak! Understood. Get out of the way, Nia! Have you gone mad? You're the one who's off your net, wheeling on a child. Nia, I don't think you quite comprehend your position. I get it, but... You're starting to piss me off! Sharp for someone who's only just woken up. Pyra! Takes me back to 500 years ago. What's the deal with that appearance? I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream! Then I have no choice but to stop you! Ugh! <laughs> 
You're a tough one, kid. But there's only one way this can end. Oh, shit. What's that? Gramps! That Malos Azura. to do. 